Hey guys, Isaac back from Undeniable doing another protein snack review. Uh, today we've got Emma and Tom's and another one of their sort of protein bars. This is salted caramel. Uh, you can get Emma and Tom's protein bars pretty much at all Woolies and Coles. And for this one in particular, looking at about $3 mark. Again, very sort of normal range for the protein balls. So if we quickly go over the nutritional information on the back here, you're looking at 131 calories. You got 8.3 grams of protein, 5 grams of fat, and 12.3 grams of carbohydrates with 3.5 grams of fiber. So overall, not too bad at all. I like to see that fat up, you know, or trying to keep that fat low. Uh, it doesn't have as many carbohydrates as I thought it would, being salted caramel, but let's get into the taste test. All right, let's get into this, guys. Um, so it's sort of like real food, sort of, um, salted caramel bar, I guess you could say. That's what they're sort of about there. So it's not sort of like a real artificial bar. Alrighty guys, going over the salted caramel Emma and Tom's protein bar here. Uh, a couple of positives were, obviously it's made from sort of real food. Uh, that's a positive. It's uh, Because of that, it makes it more inherently healthy. Um, obviously you got a lot more sort of micronutrients in it. Uh, if it isn't sort of artificially put all together um, but for me this bar really sort of just didn't hit base sort of thing and sort of missed a lot so cons for me uh, I didn't like the fact that it's called salted caramel but doesn't really have any salt on it I like the bars to be salted uh, it was salty uh, so it tasted salty, but um, I feel like that's when you do salted caramel wrong That's the flavor that you get and it did it did lack the caramel flavor that you You'd look for in a caramel protein bar So that's the pros and cons for the Emma and Tom's salted caramel bar uh, for me I like a lot of Emma and Tom's stuff. I've sort of raved about it in the past But this one I feel like it didn't really hit the mark for me. I think rating for this has got to have to be a six um, I just felt the caramel flavors probably lacking too much and I think the salted caramel I don't know, I have this thing with salted caramel, I like to be salted caramel, not salty caramel. And I feel like this one was a little bit too salty, uh, instead of having sort of just chunks of salt on there where you get that burst sort of thing coming through. So that's it for today guys, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, please like it, and, uh, please like and subscribe and share the video if you can. It really does help us out and we'll see you tomorrow.